What's up, y'all? It's Nicola Gauna from AfterBuzz TV. We are here behind the scenes for the challenge, the Battle of the Exes 2 with Wes and Teresa. How are you guys doing? Good. Very well. Thank you. Good. Yay. Mm -hmm. Well, I've been a big fan of this show for a long time now, seeing you guys coming back together, just having, what, was it just a one hookup type thing or? Slappy makeup session, I would say. Just a makeout session. Oh, okay. pool table though, which was cool. <laughs> that made it cool and yeah. spicy. Okay, <laughs> made it really hot. That's what's up. Um, Wes, you coming into the this challenge again? Do you kind of always stay with the same strategies coming into the house? Always, you've always kind of been the instigator, the bad boy type, which I've loved. I think Thank it's you. very entertaining. Yeah, you well, know. I'm for you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it brings. You know, just instigating to the house. Not a lot of people like to do that, but the fact that you like to kind of throw in jabs and kind of take the, you know, big dogs out, I mean, the why thing, not? The thing about it is people uh, that just stick with a big group and they don't make any weird decisions, they get to the end and then they wonder why they're going in the last couple of things or why they're in the finals with somebody that's really athletic and they don't think long term. I have a real life at home, so I have to take jabs. I have to either set myself up for good things in the end, or I have to go home early. Mm -hmm. And middle ground is a loss for me. Right. First place is first place, second place is last place, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I'm either winning or I'm going home immediately. And so you got, I go in and I just start messing with things to just, so to, I want control, or I want out of there. So I'd rather make a risky move. It's either you're in it for the long run or just out peace out, let me possible. get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's probably what you did for the first, we saw the first couple of episodes, you know, it was either, okay, I'm going straight for Johnny, and if that doesn't work, well, let me just make it all the way to the end then, since now we haven't thrown each other in. So, and Teresa, there's kind of been some girl drama a little bit going on. Yeah. How was it being in the house? Simone told us it was kind of like, you know, the upstairs girls versus the downstairs girls. Mm -hmm. Was it hard for you to kind of, you know, make it through the house with all that tension? It was beyond hard for me. Like, I literally had, like, anxiety attacks, and Wes would be like, Teresa, go to Bora Bora. And that meant, like, go into my bunk bed and, like, don't talk to anyone and just sleep. So that's pretty much what I did, like, to escape. I would mentally have to, like, remove myself from mm -hmm. the, like, game, I guess you could say. Right. And just kind of relax. Because you don't really seem like a confrontational type I person. It. I hate her. it. I hate it, but she I... She says she hates it, and then she just gets in it. I always get in it, and I don't know how, but I don't like it. And yeah. She's like a drug, a drug addict that has gone through the first step, but none of the others. Like, she's aware. She's admitted she has a problem, but she has no idea how to fix it. Yeah, I need to just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I, think I mean, that's my thing. it happens. You know, some girls can be messy, and it just kind of ends up being that way. She's messy. I, mean, I I'm not. I'm not good with this kind of stuff, and right. I think I just need to chill out sometimes. Right. Well, you guys are both messy in a way, so it kind of works out. I mean, I don't know what what what, what is this an Indiana messy? Like messy where I'm from means like like what your clothes are on the floor. Like, what okay, you, messy is mean? like getting dirty, getting into some like mischief or like oh, yeah, no, messing messy. with people's I'm like clean. brains. You're oh. so messy. You are. <laughs> yes, you guys are both messy. Okay. He, loves, he when likes is this being a messy thing? though. I have Twitter. I'm I'm up with the times. What is this messy thing? <sighs> well, you need to get with the program. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right. Look it up and start. You can start using it. Right, you can I'm be like, a little messy when I get home. Okay, we'll it's probably gonna up. have your definition on it. Um, <laughs> but that's okay. And you and Johnny kind of had this, you know, ongoing battle. Are you guys like really homies in life, or is it kind of an act, or what's going on with that? Uh, I would compare it to like cousins that can't get out of each other's lives that would fight for each other if we were at a bar like and we we happen to see each other and needed each other's help but if we were ever just alone or in a situation with each other we hate each other it's like the people that get together for christmas and our cousins and just fight incessantly but it's like uh you still a part of you still respects them okay right i like that that's good cousins for our part all right um and coming into this show you guys didn't know the people from are you the one we're coming in how do you guys feel about bringing them into the challenge now you know a different show it's not the real world it's kind of like fresh meat in a way how did you guys feel about that i was i mean i thought i thought it was a good move but uh, i in from a macro philosophical standpoint meaning there needs to be fresh blood and there needs to be a new way into the system i thought that are you the one was a little cheesy for the first one 
Because there was a million things. All they have to do is pick from the list of the 1,000 other D-list celebrities that are in the United <laughs> States and bring in some people. And they chose something that I would consider to be a little too cheesy to be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe they thought because of Are You The One, it's on MTV. They kind of have the same fan base as you guys in a way. But I can totally see where you're coming from. Like... See, for me, I was fresh meat, and I've always felt, like, the vibe from the real world kids that, like, we didn't belong, so I was kind of okay with it. Like, mm -hmm. just to see, I feel like we all started the same way. We all started on a reality show at some point. Didn't matter really where or right. how, but, like, I'm okay with it. So you kids. see it as equal. No. Yeah. You let her on our show. Okay. <sighs> right. Anyway. She's still just, like, like the, the art you put on the walls. Oh, am I? Okay. I just called you art. Okay. <laughs> Are you see? She's messy. I'm like she good art. She wants to not take the I'm compliment. I'm the expensive art. Okay. The Dali Picasso style. Expensive art that sits on the wall while the two real jerk. worlders interact and own the room. No, that's beautiful. Artwork <laughs> is nice. I yeah, that's messy a compliment, artwork. girl. Okay, take that as a compliment. Yes. From him, I, I mean, that's as close of a compliment. I forgot. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think. I had another question in mind that I was thinking of. Um, one last question. Okay. <laughs> Let me think of a good one here. Okay. If you guys were to come back onto the challenge, what do you guys say is your favorite challenge to come on? Being like by yourself, obviously. Or if you were to do a Rivals, who would your Rivals be? Which is probably easy for you, Teresa. Well, I have a couple I think I could have. I could have either Laurel or Nani as my um, Rivals. But I would say my favorite challenge will always be Fresh Meat. Just mm -hmm. because, like, when I came into the game, like, I was so not into the game. I was just, like, having fun and really enjoying the experience. And I like that when kids are, like, fresh to this kind mm -hmm. of stuff, they're, like, still, like, enjoying it. And it's not as combative as, like, a vet who's, right. like, not in a final or anything like that. Who's, like, trying to finally get somewhere. Right. They're, like, still fun. Okay. What about you, S? Yeah, I would say I'd, I'd be interested to do one of those gigantic two teams, one okay. where there's like 10 on 10 or 15 on 15, because I've never really gotten to do any a true one of those. But she's right about the fresh meat ones. There have been, I mean, I've done a lot of the different variations. I mean, borderline all of them. And the fresh meat ones I look back on as the most fun because it's like a personality buffet. There's all these new people mm -hmm. and you get to like go around and there is no not as much boredom in the off time because you can just find a new person who they cast to be on a reality television show. You know, you know it's going to be at least a, a good couple hours of where they came from. Right. And you know if they haven't, you know, you just find the bad thing in their life and if you haven't gotten there yet then you know that you haven't dug deep enough. So. And some like fresh new girls to like talk to yeah, and fresh not, new guys. You know, you guys cast, can kind of get sick of like, yeah, they don't you same know, people. the same people all the cast, time. They don't cast pretty enough people on these like, for the fresh meat stuff. Like, Coming from him, right? I know. You I are the I know. guy I've I ever seen. I know, seen. but I'm the real world where you're supposed to, like, fresh meat. It's supposed, I should get to choose from a bevy oh. of girls to be brought into the house. Like, And I also don't think, this is another thing, and this is coming from my early 20s, not me okay. now, okay? So this okay. is so if anyone is going to judge me for this, it's my early 20s saying this, but okay. they don't have enough strippers on the show. Like, why? Well, this isn't Bad Girls Club, okay? Yeah, no, 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 why don't they take... Yeah, no, How would a stripper do in a challenge? I mean, maybe like the, the pole challenge or something would like you, that. Do you think that she could athletically work a pole? Oh, don't try me. I don't know. Yeah. Is this a challenge? She, she, she could. That might need to happen, girl. You might need to take some pole dance lessons or Just some... Just Instagram video that up right to you, Wes. Exactly. Well, thank you guys so much. We'll, we'll leave it on that end, that note. Um, I'm Nicolette Gowan again here with Wes and Teresa, and we are out.